welcome to the online learning session. As you can see, I'm going to close the poll now so we can see the results. So we have most people being excited to start in the fall, which is important. And we do see, of course, a little bit of nervous, nervousness about there, about starting in general or about the online delivery. So we do have a lot of supports available for you in the online delivery. And I'm gonna be showing you some of those here uh, so that you're more comfortable with those. Okay, so just share my screen with you. Check here. There we go. Always behaves a little bit differently. So just to know that basically all the supports that are available for you when we be visiting in in person in in the college are available for you online and in fact we have a lot of enhanced supports available for you online both accessing help a person directly but also lots of resources that are newly enhanced that you can access at any time on your own so um, one of the things i'm going to walk you through is our learning online module that we have built for you so to this module, I'm just going to go over to the portal now. You'd be logging into the portal. And it's a bit of a journey to get there, but there are lots of getting there. If you, in your right left-hand panel here, go to more applications in the portal, you'll see a, another menu. And it's actually down here at the bottom, learning online at Fleming College. You can get to that through the library website as well. So here we are. This is broken down into a few different sections, and we do recommend that you take time to go through these in preparation for the fall. You can go through them on your own at your own pace, uh, on your own time, to gain a better understanding of skills and strategies that you'll need to succeed and um, get comfortable with the technology, know where you can get help with not only the technology, but with all kinds of academic things that you may need help with, tutoring, academic skills, learning strategies, study skills, and also library skills like research, citations, and uh, finding resources. Okay, so this is the module, and you can just go through it on your own. I'm gonna show you the skills and strategies section first where we're going to take you through how to set up your study space. There's lots of resources here for you, some top tips for setting up your study space. Uh, there's a video there for you and lots of ideas for helping reduce distractions um, as we're all learning how to work in a, a different way these last few months. So we've got lots of good tips for you to reduce distractions, stay motivated and have a space that will work for you. Okay. We also have some tips on managing your time and organization. I would say this is probably one of the most important things um, that you take into consideration when you're approaching any type of schooling uh, because this can be a stumbling block. You really need to manage, plan out your time and be able to manage all the tasks that you have going on at once. And one of the tools that we have here for you is this term planner. It's just a Word document here that you can open up and then use it yourself. Let's see if this will open up for you to plug in all your major deadlines. So you'd first look at your course outlines and plug in uh, the different due dates throughout the, the term. And then you can kind of see where maybe some of those things are piling up, often week seven, week nine, and then of course getting into 
week uh, 13, 14, 15, you have a lot of deadlines and or tests or different assessments and things. So it's it's important to know what's coming uh, down the pipeline with regards to your schedule. So that's there for you. You can just use that. Planner and then from there, from your term, you would plan out your week. And there's also embedded in these documents some tips and then a daily to do list as well and some more strategies for you here. Okay, once you actually start your work, we've got lots of help for you for your acting study skills. So how should you be taking notes? What are some ways you can effectively study? And also um, presenting online. So giving a presentation at the front of a class person is one thing. Um, presenting online, is there some similarities, some differences? So um, as, as we're all learning here, so we have lots of tips for you there. And also you're still gonna be required to do group work. So there's still some uh, strategies that you'll need for doing group work, making that effective uh, for you. Okay, and I've also included some stuff on online wellness, which is just staying healthy when we're so intensively working solely on our computers. Um, one is the ergonomics, so that um, feeds into your study space that you'll be setting up. So definitely take a look at these ergonomic guidelines. Uh, you don't want to uh, end up getting uh, any cramps or injuries from uh, working online so much. So videos there, designing your tasks themselves, so making sure you're building in breaks, stretching, taking a walk, stretching your eyes, uh, things like that. So there's some extra resources there for you. You can even get a, a little thing in your computer that will remind you to stretch or, or take breaks. And then of course, uh, I've got a link right to the SACS online fitness classes. So if you're gonna wanna switch up your exercise routine in the, in the fall, there's gonna be lots of options uh, for you there. So that is a brief overview of the skills and strategies section. And now I'm gonna move on to the technology section. You're already using WebEx, you visited us in our WebEx event. And so you're, you will eventually be moving on to hosting your own WebEx uh, groups or rooms to chat with your classmates or visiting your professor or going to library workshops or tutors or all kinds of things. So some tips and tricks for you there. D2L is our learning management system. So once you gain access to that uh, at the beginning of term, I've got lots of videos and help for you to navigate that space. It's, um, it has its quirks, but it's a good learning management system. And, and if you're familiar with navigating, you'd be able to use it effectively uh, to um, access the content for your course, submit things, discuss things with your classmates, reaching your instructor. Also have an overview of all the IT supports that are available for you, the things that they support, a list of their services, and how to get in touch with them. And also library remote access will be important because you will be accessing the, the library uh, online. So here it walks you through how you're going to be accessing all the library subscription resources. So even if your instructor posts a link to a video or an article from the library, you will still have this extra login. Um, so we do recommend that folks try that at the in week one or so to make sure you can get in. And we also have the WC online, which Colleen will be going over with you, I think. So that's the technology section and then our academic support section. So just using those tabs across the top, I can jump uh, from section to section. And this is where you really get into lots of important resources that you can use while you're in, in session, in um, your classes, math, writing, research, academic integrity, so avoiding plagiarism and other academic integrity violations. And then at the end, we just have, I'll just wrap up here, a resource directory to all the resources listed in this module and also a little checklist that you can do uh, that you can look through it and make sure that you're prepared to uh, succeed in an online learning environment. So that is a very quick look at the learning online module. I do encourage you to go through it on your own. And now I believe I'm going to 
open this up, I'm going to send it over to Kathleen. Thanks, Carmen. Yeah, you're welcome. Just one more. Sorry there, I'm going to switch it over. Looks like I have access to the poll, so everything looks good. Okay. Um, okay, hello everyone. My name is Kathleen Conway. Uh, I am the coordinator of the Tutoring and Academic Skills Centre. Uh, and I'm here today just to help you learn uh, how to navigate your campus online. Um, so we're going to be taking a look at the student portal, how to access some of those services um, through an online platform. Um, now that we, we don't have uh, in-person, we aren't in our offices, we're in our WebEx rooms instead. Um, so I just want to give you some tips on to how to find us, how to access those services through the online platform. So I'm just going to start with a very quick poll, which I have just opened. And I have some, uh, just really one question here for you. Um, and that's, have you had an opportunity to explore uh, the student portal? So if you could, um, I'll maybe give us maybe a minute or two minutes uh, for you to answer that question. And then we'll have a sense of, uh, of where we are in terms of accessing that. What I'm seeing so far um, is that probably nearly half of you have looked around the portal a little. Um, some of you haven't looked around the student portal at all. Um, and uh, there's a small percentage of you that are feeling pretty confident navigating the portal. Uh, looks like we still have some answers coming in. Um, but, but it looks like we're kind of staying there. Um, in that kind of middle road where uh, many of you have looked around the portal a little. Okay, so I'm just going to close out the poll now. Um, and I'm going to take a few minutes. I'm going to start sharing my screen and then I'm going to take a couple of minutes to help you navigate that student portal. Okay, so I started here in Google Chrome because that's the internet browser that I tend to use. Um, and what I've done on, on my uh, browser is I have just pinned a couple of uh, plumbing links that I tend to go to frequently. Um, so of course, the, the one that I have pinned here first is the portal login. So this is the login screen to the portal. So for those of you who have already logged in, you're simply going to enter your username and password. But if there are some of you have, who have not yet had a chance to look around, or if you're having trouble, um, you can click here on the Get Started button. And there's some instructions there for you um, on entering your student number and your date of birth. And then once you um, have that, you can hit the Continue button, and um, that will help you get started. So then once you're back, um, logging in on the portal. So I'm just going to log in using my username and password. I'm going to click on the sign in button. And then you'll see that we've landed in the portal. So because I'm a staff member, I do have um, one link here, uh, the staff link that students do not have access to. However, um, aside from that, Essentially, we are seeing the same thing in the portal, whether you are a student or a staff member. So if you look over on the left hand side, we have the uh, this gray navigation bar, which has several links uh, to a, a variety of service areas and other information you may need access to. And this navigation bar is actually um, two pages deep. So if I click here on more applications, then we're going to find a number of different links that you can access. So for example, here is the learning online link that Carmen has already followed. Um, and she has shown us uh, how to access services or access that 
uh, module through there. We have the accessible education online services. Um, so this is if you uh, have accommodations and you need to book a test and that sort of thing. We have an assignment calculator here. So quite, oh, and actually the class cancellations may be something that you want to be aware of. So um, although this is less likely on an online platform, this is where you would check to see if a class has been canceled, perhaps due to weather or that sort of thing. Um, so now just going back again um, to this main section, I just quickly want to go in to show you how to access your D2L courses. So it's simply uh, clicking on this D2L link uh, near the top. And once you click on that, then that will take you into all of the courses that you are taking uh, this semester. You'll see them listed on top. And this is how you will access those courses and the resources associated with them. And you'll also notice on the right hand side of this, uh, there's a panel here for some additional links to help as well. Um, so lots of different um, access to support, some of it's through D2L and some of it's through the student portal. So I do just wanna make a note that um, you will not be able to access your D2L content um, until the day before classes start. Um, but once you do, this is how you access and that is essentially what that page will look like. So then I want to move over here to the tabs across the top. And one of the tabs that I want to draw your attention to is the student life tab. So looking at this section, what you'll see are a number of different icons for different student services that you can access while you are here. Um, so for example, um, if you're a student with an IEP and you need information um, about how to access accommodations while you are here at Fleming, then you can click on the accessible education link and you will get another um, link to information as well as a link to those online services that we already talked about over here in the navigation portal. Um, so just scrolling down, you'll notice there's a link to financial aid, equity, diversity, and inclusion, um, and several different uh, services here at the college. Uh, students' rights and responsibilities. So if you're looking for information around academic appeals, uh, students' rights and responsibilities, as well as the sexual violence prevention information, um, then you can click there. Um, we have a library icon and uh, Carmen will be going over that um, a little bit later in the session. So one of the ones that I would like to highlight while we are here is the academic support. Um, so several different links in, links in this session or a section, and the one that I want to highlight is the Tutoring and Academic Skills Center. So clicking on this link in the bottom right section, this will take you to the Tutoring and Academic Skills Center webpage. Um, and there's lots of information here that I want to bring to your attention. This is a pretty functional page. Uh, with links uh, to services, uh, to booking, um, to our booking software, and as well as links directly to our uh, drop-in sessions. So the Tutoring and Academic uh, Skills Center, you can access one-on-one -on -one booked tutoring. You can access drop-in sessions for specific courses or foundational support. And you can also access um, drop-in sessions with our learning strategist or a book, a book appointment for learning strategies with one of our learning strategy advisors. So if you're ever looking for the drop-in schedule, you'll find it here uh, on the web page. And in order to access any of these drop-in sessions, all you need to do is click on the WebEx link um, during the time that the session is running, and that will take you directly into that um, drop-in session. So any of these drop-ins, um, so you'll notice, so for instance, this semester we're running math drop-in on Mondays between one and three. So that doesn't mean that you are you have to commit to a full two-hour period in order to access support there. You can click, click on this link at any time during this time range and go in and you can either get some quick help or you can spend um, 
spend you know up to two hours uh, if you need uh, that level of support during the drop-in session. So it can be a quick in and out with a quick question, um, or you can stay for a bit for some uh, additional help. If you ever want to connect with me, you can click here. Uh, during my office hour times, uh, you'll find me in my WebEx room um, where I can answer any of your questions. Um, or you can also send me an email and I can answer you that way as well. Okay, so um, all of our tutoring is and our learning strategy support is provided online. And um, so the, in order to book a session, we use WC Online, which is our booking system. We have one for Frost, we have one for Sutherland. Um, so the first thing to do is to go in and register uh, for WC Online and then book a session. We do have some instructions here. Um, so if you're having any trouble with it, you can click here to look for some instructions on, on how to use the system. So I'm just going to give a quick demonstration at the moment um, on how to register and then book a session. So you'll notice um, this is your first visit. You'll need to click here to register for an account. You'll need to complete this form. And then once you've completed the form, then you'll click here on complete registration. And that will actually take you back to the login screen where you can log in and book an appointment. Um, so I'm just going to do that now. So I've logged in as a demo student. And what you'll notice is, is we have our tutoring schedule um, is the first thing that comes up. So in order to book a tutoring session, just activate the drop down list of courses, select the course that you're looking for. And once you've done that, it will filter out any tutors that are not qualified to tutor that course and you'll only be left with the tutors who can help you with this particular course. So when you look at the schedule, what you'll see is that anything that is white is a bookable time. Anything that is a light blue or a dark blue is not bookable. So to book a session, all you need to do is click on the time. Everything will show up in a new window and then you simply need to create the appointment. Once, the, um, once it's time to start the session, you can come back to WC Online and you can click on this appointment, uh, this link, and that will take you directly uh, to the tutor's room. So we also run our learning strategies support schedule. So just by activating this dropdown, you can move into learning strategies and you can get um, through the same process. You can book an appointment with a learning strategy advisor and they can help you with any of these items. So if you need help with time management, organization, some assignment breakdown, dealing with test anxiety, all sorts of support here uh, to help you in um, those learning strategy sessions. Okay, so that's essentially how you can access support um, through the online platform. And I do, I, I uh, just want to quickly, very quickly go back to the, um, to the learning online buckets. Um, and to just let you know here, if you are needing any support with D2L, once you have access, if you want some help with WebEx tips, um, information, um, IT services, any of that support, you can find it here in the technology bucket. Um, and if you're still not finding what you're looking for, then feel free to just get in touch with us um, and let us know what questions that you might have. Okay, so Carmen, I'm going to hand this, I'll stop sharing my screen and I'm going to hand this back to you. Okay, thanks Kathleen. Um, there's just so many questions coming in the, the q and I've been trying to field those and send out uh, links where possible. 
Um, so just keeping in mind right now, I'm going to put out the, if you're looking for information about your program, there was academic sessions held earlier, maybe last month or something. And I do have the recordings for those. So there, um, we can see that link to all the academic school sessions. Also questions about other uh, areas are on, you can visit the welcome day sessions that are there for you. So there's, um, the, there's international student services, uh, those questions about visas and, and study permits that were coming through there. Uh, you can go to that drop-in session that's running from 1030 to 12. Okay, um, other questions. I had questions about the bookstore, the academics drop-in session. We'll have campus store information there. So um, you, you can order your books on, online. They will have a book list there for you. Um, and you can order the books through there. Um, sorry, just quickly trying to look for these questions. So you won't have access to the learning management system until like the day before class starts, which I think is September 8th. It's the day after Labor Day this year. Um, other questions. I'm pretty sure they do have the minimum computer requirements. T pages, though I wasn't able to find that information directly to send you that link. Um, but I will uh, post that onto the online learning module as soon as I find those, but they are there on the IT pages there. Um, so I was just going to quickly show. I, I realize we're just about to end the session, so I'll just quickly show you the library, how to get in touch with the library help here. And so now I'm going to share some content with you just so you can see. There we go. So the library homepage there. Um, just want to point out that you can always get library help. You can pop into our reference desk. It's just like walking up to the desk at the library, except you just pop into a WebEx room like this. And here the times are, are here so we can see you face to face and talk and help you through any research or citation questions. Also, we do have a chat help. So during the day, weekdays, 11 to 4, you will connect with a Fleming person, Fleming library technician right away. Or there's also support for evening and weekend hours. This is a shared service among college libraries in Ontario, and we are used to helping students from all the colleges. So you can get uh, after hours support there. Our tutorials are here for you that you can learn more about using the library. There's some of them are videos, some of them are resource guides. We have a citation guide that's very uh, important for you to learn how to do your citations and uh, also our workshops here workshops and research appointments you can make a one-on-one -on -one appointment with us just directly through here or you can see we'll have our workshops listed um, right now we're doing workshops on avoiding plagiarism citations and finding articles so your basic research skills there and citation skills and we'll be offering way more topics in the fall uh, as well we expand our topics there for that so I know that uh, you may want to be heading off to the other session or visiting some of the drop in breakout rooms that are there for you and stop sharing this now. And just make sure everyone has the link to that welcome days. Main page. This is where you can find all the different sessions that you may be wanting to go into. Okay, so thank you for coming. I know 30 minutes is not a lot of time to go through all that content and I apologize if I didn't get to your chat questions that all were coming through. Um, but certainly visit these other drop in rooms and you can get the answers to those questions there. All right, anything to add Kathleen. 
Thanks, Carmen. I've just been looking at some of these uh, uh, question and answers. Um, so we do have some students looking on when they can access. Uh, so you should be able to access the student portal now. And if you are running into trouble, please get in touch with IT support to see if they can help you um, with any access issues you might be having and the learning management system, you'll be able to access closer to this semester start. Um, and, and we will be available in our breakout rooms as well uh, for any other questions that, that you might have. Okay, I'm just gonna also send the portal link there out to folks. All right, got a lot of windows here. Control V. And then at the bottom, you can see the get started button. That will um, help you to determine how to log in if you've lost your login to the portal. Okay, I think that's everything for now. And now we're going to be over in the other room, the academic success room, along with um, accessible education supports as well. So we'll see you there. Thanks, guys. Thanks.